Wake up everybody, it's dark outside. Rise and shine, squeaked baby bat, pup, really loudly. Pup was the youngest bat in the colony of bats that lived on a tree in a park. Since he was the youngest, he was also very curious about everything. He had so many questions and all his questions were mostly answered by Grandpa Bat. Pup loved to fly with Grandpa Bat on almost all nights. It was Grandpa who had told him to listen closely and not just rely on his eyes. Yes, we have a fairly good eyesight, little one. But for us bats, our ears are way more helpful. He would often say, Look, look, Grandpa, it's dark outside. Let's go hunting, Pup poked Grandpa Bat. Grandpa woke up, rubbing his eyes. <sighs> oh no, Pup, it's still day. Go to bed, sleep for a while. It's not night yet, Grandpa said wearily. But how can that be, Grandpa? Look, it's so dark outside. That's because it's a total solar eclipse. Solar eclipses happen when the moon moves between the sun and the earth, blocking the sun's rays and casting a shadow on the earth, said Grandpa, almost awake now. Mm, I don't quite understand, said Pup rather sadly. By now, Grandpa was wide awake. Come on then, let me tell you a story and then you will understand everything. This is the story of the sun and the moon and how they struck a deal. The sun being the center of the universe was a proud orb. He liked patronizing other planets with his scorching glare and loved to dictate their lives. He loved being a boss. The moon was very tired of all of this. He was also very upset that though he orbited the earth day and night, no one could see him from the earth. He thought all this hard work was such a waste if no one knew him. He had to do something about it now. He decided to hold a council with the sun. Now the sun liked to act all busy and important and it took him the longest time to get an appointment from the sun. But eventually when the moon did get an appointment with the sun, he felt exhilarated and a little bit scared. Uh, maybe you should come with me, Earth. Having a friend around will be a little more comforting, you see. You know, Moon, maybe this time you should go all by yourself. I would love to come with you next time, said the Earth. So the Moon was on his own on this mission. To meet the Sun, the Moon had to be exactly aligned between the Sun and the Earth. So he had to wait for some more days to reach the exact position. When he reached the exact position, it was a priceless, proud moment for the earth. To the earth, the, the sun appeared to be hiding behind the moon with only an outline of its radiant light visible. Your Majesty, it's such an honor to be in your glorious presence, said the moon. I know, I know, you must be feeling so good right now, such a joyous moment for you, life must be finally feeling useful. Come on now, quick, quick, tell me, what is it? Sun said with its nose up. Your Majesty, I have a proposition for you. You? You tiny little thing? You have a proposition for me? Ha! Huh. Your Majesty, oh come on, I think you're just wasting my time. The Sun said arrogantly. The moon was getting annoyed now. The sun wasn't letting him talk. Your Majesty, at least hear me out. I have a proposition and this would really benefit both of us. Ha! Huh. You little tiny, do you think who you are? And do you know who you're talking to? You can never be of any use to me. The sun said rather haughtily. But Your Majesty, if you agree with this, then your importance can be doubled and I guarantee you this. Uh-huh. The sun seemed a little interested. Go on then. You see, Your Majesty, right now, even though you're in the sky all the time, 
people of the earth can only see you half the time. The other half of the day, they are praising the other stars. My proposition to you is that if you let me share your light, then I can shine your light the time when you cannot. And that way, earth and her people will praise you day and night. They will depend on your light day and night. And they will be reminded of your power day and night. The moon said slowly. Hmm, that's a good proposition, Tiny. But I see only you benefiting out of it. For when people will see you lighting up the night sky, all the praises will be for you and not for me, said the sun, doubting moon's intention. Oh no, your majesty, it will be your light I will be sharing. I will merely be a pawn. It is you they will worship even more. Ah, that would be nice. Okay, Tiny, you have yourself a deal now. Now move along, you're blocking my light. The people of the earth cannot see me and it's daytime. Come on now, move along, said the sun. Oh, yes, of course, said the moon and moved hurriedly. Now the moon covered the sun's center, leaving the outer edges of the sun to form like an annulus around the moon. I can see the earth now, but my light is still blocked. People on the earth might just see me like a ring and I want to shine in all my glory. So budge, will you? scolded the sun. No, your majesty, not just an ordinary ring, a ring of fire. That is supreme, your majesty, befitting a king like yourself, said the moon. Yes, yes, a ring of fire. Now, will you move, Tiny? The sun said, losing its patience. Uh, yes, ye yes, 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 sir. Sorry. And then he moved away hurriedly. Now, the moon was placed between the sun and the earth, but it was not perfectly aligned in a straight line. So, it covered half of the disk of the sun. To the earth, it appeared like the moon had taken a big bite out of the sun. And the earth chuckled out loud. Listen, Tiny, I accepted your proposition, but now you're annoying me. To the earth, it must be appearing as if you have taken a big bite out of me. Come on now, move along. And if you don't move, I will take my offer back, said the sun very angrily. Sorry, Your Majesty, I'm out of your way. And saying this, the moon hurriedly moved away, leaving the sun to shine in its full glory. So this is how the moon got its light from the sun and also causes total annular and partial eclipses every once in a while. Well, mostly two solar eclipses in a year. And you know, a total solar eclipse can last for about 7.5 minutes. Grandpa Bad looked at Pup who was fast asleep by now. Sleep tight, my tiny, said Grandpa and smiled affectionately. Eclipse 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 Patronizing 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 Dictating Dictating, dictating, exhilarated, 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 proposition, proposition, proposition.